Hey guys, Joe TNT here. Um, now I was gonna plan to make a sort of a schedule, which I'm gonna try to actually follow. And I'm sorry I missed a couple of days of videos. The Walking Dead game, which we're gonna start now, was originally gonna be on Wednesday. The Walking Dead Wednesday, not copying a certain YouTuber or anything, because I'm really not. But we're gonna start the game. This game right here, the five episode sort of six ga episode game. Um, choose play. Yeah, I'm just gonna play standard because I'm not standard. See, there's. I already have all the episodes, so. Um, let's see, five, and there's a bonus. So, these. The five episodes will be five. A five part series and they'll each be the full episode so it'll be like an hour long each so just deal with it and then um in this one there are like six little parts and they're like shorter so i'll make them during their own video and they they're just a little bit shorter not like an hour like these so let's get on with it episode one a new day if you guys haven't played the game I recommend you go and do that. Hopefully I can get the second season on my Xbox One. Then we can also play that. The game's... Yep. Wow, I wasn't going to read that, but then I changed my mind. I'll tell games presents. I'm not even going to read that anymore. I just... The Walking Dead. <laughs> Oh, Outlast is coming tonight, probably. Um, I got Minecraft from my Xbox One, so a video should be up on that today. Hopefully my friend Damien makes a new video sometime. Hold up, I'm gonna turn this down. It's kinda loud. Okay. That's better. Hi! What's up, homie? <laughs> I'll try to be quiet. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every, Every time? time? Every time. All right, guys, I'm... I want to see if I can make this little thing on the bot. Um. Okay. I just want to get rid of that little black thing. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to disappear, but whatever. Followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Sorry. Done. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not much of a choice. Much choice. Sure don't. Well, Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. 
crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for Ew. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Did, Did he, do, he it? do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> And that people is why we watch where we what that is why we watch watch the road while we're driving. So so that never happens. Hey, we lived. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. Yeah, I would Fuck. be too. My leg. I, I would be too thirsty. Wait, wait, what? Hey. Hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Well, gee. D does he look all right to you people? Like, there's a... Giant trail of blood. He's laying on the floor. Yeah, he looks. He looks fine. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Kick it. Kick the window. Four times a try. Oh. I need to. Drag myself out that window. Okay. Once again, he looks fine. He's not dead. He's alive. Okay, okay, what? Uh. Officer? Don't drop him. He dropped him. Of course, they're right by his mouth. Okay, don't drop him this time. You can drop him once you get the handcuffs off. Officer. Uh, okay, he he's alive, but he's he's seen better days. Get away from me! Uh, ammo, shell, and gun. Reload. Oh, are you? You have the worst grip ever. Can't even hold ammo. You can't hold handcuff keys. Don't make me do this. 
Blow his brains out! I blew his brains out. Man. You murderer! Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! You're gonna just sit there. What? Huh? Oh, hello. You slip. Like, and and you just killed the guy, so I figured you would know, like, where his body is. Yeah, you'll get away now because you're crawling. <laughs> Did we make it? Yes, yeah, speak to the treehouse. Anybody up there? Tea time. I can fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Then what are you? You came into some person's house. These people might need more help than I do. You know, if someone just came into my house. Oh, you're not an intruder. You're just some guy. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. You slip over everything. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Hey, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. 
Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Good. What's your name? This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> Too close for comfort! You slip over everything once again. What? What? Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Third time, okay, it looks dead. Fourth time for good measure. <laughs> okay, make that like six or seven. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Yeah, let's go. Okay, there. What part of stay close to me do you know, understand? I'm pretty sure stick means, get, like, stay, and close means, well, next to, and me, as in, well, me. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? 
I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We're humans! What, what are you doing? you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Well, hi, Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Um. Her babysitter. Her, her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Yeah, monsters come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Yeah, push the car with your wounded leg. That's a great idea, Lee. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Oh, and we did absolutely you brought nothing. A couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yep. You do. Yes. <laughs> okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I took a seat up on the porch. Let's have a look. Well, yeah, this is swung uh, to hell. Just something fell off. <sighs> It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Oh, I never actually told you. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Well, I already got the green part. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed? Yeah. Before the car accident. Nowhere. Um, 
We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Um... I dead people walking. By a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Like I said, this is gonna be try to... Go I'm gonna try to do the whole episode. What do we do then? We'll better probably off? probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. Yeah. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be okay, seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Well, he was... Okay, so... It they're smells laying, like they're laying on the blankets. Manure. Manure, like when a horse plops. Just like that. Like I'd actually just, like lay on the mat and then cover I up with the blankets. I bet, Clem. Whatever. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Go to sleep and good night. I love you, baby. <laughs> hey, get up. <sighs> Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. We're in the and everything. <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. You'll, you'll love That's this kid's boy, name. Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. His name's Ken Jr., but you're calling him Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Yeah. yeah. Well, he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. <coughs> My family's from there. Well, uh. Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, <laughs> Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. 
Oh, okay. Steal their food! Let them starve! <laughs> um... Be sure to check in with everyone you met so far. Hi, Duck! Your name should be Dumb Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Oh, okay. Performing. Lift with your back, Sean! Uh, okay. That, that's great. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Okay, I'll cut them. Or I'll just sit here and watch me cut them. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. <sighs> um... Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movie. Like how Duck's just bouncing around up there. <laughs> like he doesn't really care. Do oh, kid's getting shot in the head? Kill. I don't care. I just want to bounce around on the tractor. <laughs> I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, Duck, look at that. You're sitting on a tractor. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. <laughs> that it? <laughs> hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, it's you're good? It's supposed to be. Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Um. Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. So, uh... What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, so now I have to go talk to Kenny, who's over here working on his truck. 
wish I could just close the hood on his head. Like, just to be funny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, how's your, how's son's, your son's, uh, son? dumb Good, duck? Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any <laughs> help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. Oh yeah, I such a Clementine. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Oh, that that's. Oh hi, Herschel. How come I couldn't see you before, but now I can? So. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I told I you. Ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. I mm. told you. Well, I said, no with the policeman, car accident. This a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Well, first of all, I said Let's say things don't get better back Lee. in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Go! I'll get my gun! Okay, Doc, I know you said you're dumb. I know I said you're dumb, but you're a little kid and you can't die. Like, I, I won't let you die. I will save you. I got you. You're almost through. Now, Sean, get this tracker off of me. Okay. Please, help me, please. Okay. Never mind. I wasn't gonna let a little kid like Duck die, even though he is kind of a dumb nut. I mean, I mean, I mean, he's just dumb. 
Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, Ew. you didn't even try to help. Well, you're mean. And I'm just gonna sit here, you know. Look at him. You got nothing to say to him, do you? Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Great place. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God <laughs> damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Uh-uh. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you yeah. and one homo parade. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I'm Lord, going to. Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry then about Then just do it. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. 
Keys behind the counter. <coughs> Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick. And I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I, I don't want to help him. But I know I'm gonna have to. We can't let anything happen I, to Is there, like, anything no, here? There's an energy bar. There's a door. Another energy bar. See, there's an energy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. See. And here's another energy bar.
place must be full of energy bars. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Yeah, waters. <laughs> <coughs> that sounded like a plant. Uh, let's see, there's one more down here. I guess I'll give this last one to Duck because Lily doesn't deserve. Back to Fort it's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Try to get. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try <coughs> to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? <clears throat> Sorry. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Anything else? Here. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, yeah. I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Awkward. We'll sit tight. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <sighs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. But she was dorky an asshole, guy. <laughs> You know? Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Let's see, well, first of all. Let's see here, first of all, let's check the battery door. There are no uh, batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no <laughs> batteries in that thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Well, I said there's no batteries in it. 
So, what do you think you'd look for? Not batteries! Oh, oh okay. You need one more battery. Wait, what was that? Oh. Let's go into the office. Alive inside. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Who your parents Med medkit there's gotta be something in here luckily there's nothing I need in here uh, can we move let's see move this Zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Um, let's check the... Can... okay... Get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? Um... You don't have a family? What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Oh, no, I didn't. <sighs> I'm surprised you picked up. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Well... They're dead. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Ow! Uh-oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Hmm. in here? Well, there's a TV remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. To your dad's TV. Wait, does it work? That's what I figured. Okay, it turned on. Something in the first aid kit? 
Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Hey, look, it's me. There I am in the picture by the other people. Oh, okay, bye, people. I'm no longer Find part. Uh, no. Here's the photo. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Oh. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because <clears throat> if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Like, put a bandage on it? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Put a bandage, put, put it on. Fixed it. Locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Well, I don't wanna help Larry, because Larry is Larry. Get back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Uh, Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. This battery should fit the radio. Great. Thanks. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. You 
If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hey, Connie. Um... Um... Fucking... I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> track uh, what's over here wait can we get to that car get out your gun but the noise just follow my lead stay right behind me that was sick Now I'm just gonna open it up. Um. It's a gear shift. Is there something in the truck? Alright, let's see those ninja rocks. Ninja what now? You picked up that spark 
about to shatter that window, right? What the hell are you talking about? Let me see the spark plug. Also, inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, this way, that way. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go back here. Run! Down to the RV. I don't know. Stab him with the ice pick! Okay, wait till it gets close. Wait till it gets close! Boom! Oh, what? you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. In there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. 
Just leave me, please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No! 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 Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Well then. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. there. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Okay. Let's do this. comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Dud. I know. <coughs> Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? 
It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. We wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. <laughs> Looks like we got him. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Achievement. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there.
Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? That I should know... Ike, are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit! Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Give it time. Did you find anything? That window is screwed. Go! Thank you. 
Hey, Glenn. Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait. Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. was toast but you know what he wasn't oh and then hey duck uh, you want to cool it for a minute okay sorry i'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here no it's not that it's i got grabbed again i was there though i fell and my walkie-talkie broke glenn had the other one I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? 
Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Not really. Everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you she, were she's not really great. you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! No more, please! Lee! Please! Uh, <laughs> um, so let's see. Okay. So I have more of the majority on the first one. Okay, well, I'm surprised only 30% of people did that. Okay. Uh-huh. Overall, I had to... I, I picked the right choice. So, um... Yeah, more of this is gonna come. We're gonna beat the game. Outlast in Minecraft tonight, so keep a lookout on my Twitch. For the... for those. Um, just keep a lookout for it. See you guys. Bye.